This book is called Football Crazy and it's by Colin McNaughton and it's from our school library and I chose this one because we've got some kids at our school that are football crazy and I thought they might like it. Football crazy. Bruno was crazy about football but he had nobody to play with. He had just moved to the big city with his mum and dad. From his window he watched a gang of kids playing on some waste ground. Oh, too far. The gang called themselves Texas Tigers. Bruno thought they were race. He watched Tex flick the ball to Patch and Patch nodded over to Ginger and Ginger back heeled it up to Roberto and Roberto head it towards the goal where it was beautifully saved by Winston. Bruno longed to join in. Why not ask those children if you can play? asked his mum. I don't know them. They wouldn't want me, said Bruno shyly. But he plucked up his courage. Hey, can I come and play with you? he called. Play? scowled Roberto. We're not playing. We're training. Saturday's the big match against Leroy's Lions. Couldn't I train with you? begged Bruno. Mm, okay, said Tex. Let's see what you can do. Oh, Bruno was hopeless at first. It's just that I'm out of practice, he told them. To me, to me. Bonk. Oh, Bruno. Hey, look out. Thump. Ugh. Mine. Ow. Oh, let's put him out of harm's way. In goal, said Winston. As he got used to being in goal, Bruno started to improve. He began to enjoy himself. Oh, it looks a bit sad. Uh, uh, uh. Hmm. Not bad. After training, the Tigers made plans for the big match. Can I be in the team? asked Bruno timidly. Can I be in the team? asked Bruno timidly. The gang groaned. Ooh. And Tex said kindly, Afraid not. We've got our full team already. Bruno looked crestfallen. But Tex went on. Oh, I suppose you could be the substitute though. You did pretty well in goal. But you'll have to do a lot better than you did today. Thanks, cried Bruno. Bruno, I won't let you down. Bruno trained hard. He was determined to improve. He practiced every day after school. On Monday it was running. On Tuesday it was heading. On Wednesday it was passing. Thursday it was dribbling. And on Friday it was scoring goals. No fun being a substitute, sighed Bruno at breakfast on Saturday morning. I wish I was in the team. Who says you won't be, said his dad. We'll be there anyway, said his mum. As kickoff time grew, grew near, Texas Tigers gathered in the gang hut. Here you are, Bruno. You can wear this, said Patch, tossing him the team's spare football strip. Bruno was proud to wear the tiger's colours. The tigers trooped out onto the pitch and a cheer went up from the crowd. Leroy's lions were out there already warming up. Bruno finished putting on his boots and settled down to watch from the tiny gang hut window. Uh, I think it might be over here. The teams, Texas Tigers, Leroy's Lions, Winston, Roberto, Tex, Patch, Ginger, Leroy, Max, Dixie, Foxy, Jack, and the umpire. The referee blew his whistle. They were rough. 
<laughs> the Tigers scored first. Then the Lions equalised. What a goal! The Lions take the lead. Oh no, another! The Tigers are down three to one. I need Albie here reading this with me so he can be the commentator. Tex looks worried. So does Bruno. The Tigers pull one back. Hooray! Come on, Tigers. You can do it. Oh, hard luck. Oh, let's hit the edge here. Yes! It's there. What a goal. Three goals each. Tigers. 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 Woo! Lions. 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 Ah! Foul! Roberto brought down. Penalty to Tigers. <gasps> Poor Roberto. Poor Roberto had to be carried off. Come on, Bruno! shouted Tex. Get in goal! It was Bruno's big chance. Hoots of laughter greeted him as he trotted onto the pitch. Well, he did look odd in his huge shorts and boots. I'll show them, said Bruno to himself, when the referee s signalled for a penalty to be taken. They won't laugh at me when I score a goal. And he ran the full length of the pitch and kicked the ball as hard as he could. Stop, Bruno! No, Bruno! Oh, dear. Oh, right out of the stadium. Get back in goal, you great pudding, yelled Tex. You've probably lost the match for us. Oh, that's not a very nice thing to say. Bruno felt ashamed, but there was no time to brood. As the Lions mounted attack after attack, Bruno pulled off a string of great saves. Put this on. Oh, he's back into the green. Oh, there he is. Another one, another one, another one, another one, another one. I think he's a very good goalie. But then Bruno made a terrible mistake. He dived to the ball at Leroy's feet. He missed it and sent Leroy sprawling. Bruno had given away a penalty with two minutes to go. Bruno just had to stop the ball going in or the match would be lost. Bruno felt tiny. The goal seemed huge. The crowd was silent. Tex and his Tigers hardly dared to watch. Leroy had never missed a penalty in his life. Uh-oh, here's Leroy. Little Bruno. Come on, Bruno, you can do it. <gasps> the whistle blew. Would he? Could he? Had he? Yes! Yes, he had! He'd saved it! Oh! But Bruno wasn't finished. He'd hoofed, he hoofed the ball up the pitch straight into the Lions' goal. The Tigers had won. Bruno, shouted Tex. You're a hero! The crowd chanted and his mum and dad waved. Can I be a sub in the next match, Tex? asked Bruno. You bet, said Tex. We couldn't do it without you. And that just about made Bruno's day. Bruno, Bruno. Bruno, Bruno, Tigers! Good old Bruno. Bruno! Four to three. Well, that was quite a passionate game of football. Sounded very similar to the matches that we have in our school. Very, very passionate. So that one's in our school library. You can borrow that one when school comes back. Football Crazy by Colin McNaughton. <laughs>